Welcome back everybody to my reboot progression series. We're gonna start this one off on a Sunday. And it's a special Sunday since it's 5, 10, 15. I know I've said in the past that we are trying to reach 100 billion mesos until Shining. But that doesn't mean that we can't spend any money on our way there, right? So, we are sitting at 70 billion mesos right now. And I thought to myself, I want to upgrade. And the equipments that I want to upgrade are the following. So, we have a, still the 17 star Meister Ring. And until the Slime Ring is usable that we got in the last episode, I think sometimes it's gonna pass. So, it might be worth it to 19 star this Meister Ring. I think so, and that's why I'm planning to do so, right? Then we have my arcanes. All of these are at 17 stars and I think they could be pushed to 19. I have a couple of spares in my inventory, so I could see that happening. And besides that, I got nothing else to, to start for us. The other projects are gonna take much more money, right? Or more spares. And I think getting these 19 star upgrades is gonna push us over the edge. When it comes to our solo bossing performance, so... There we go, 19 stars. Perfect. It didn't boom. Which is... <sighs> which is amazing. I... If you paid attention to it, right, I... I got to Meister again in accessory crafting. I crafted one spare Meister ring just to make sure we don't lose this item right <laughs> that's why we also skipped out on star forcing that up previously but now i said to myself okay it's relatively cheap to upgrade right because the item level is 140 and the gains are still massive that we can make from this item so no oh, come on no oh my god <laughs> I lost my patience to Starcatch and I got demolished. Alright. So, we have spares and this will go up to 17 again and that's gonna be it for this item. Because, you know, this takes a ton of droplets otherwise, so... Restored. And now let's just get me... The let me get this back up to 17. Sadness. Alright, so check this out. I get 14 more attack from this star. So let's get it. <laughs> Come on. Give it to me, game. Don't boom on 18, please. <laughs> so It's so hard. All right, 18, that's good enough. We're gonna keep that. We made one star, a one star improvement. <laughs> Amazing. All right, next up, our cape. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, yes, this item just went. It was easy. <laughs> Good. Next up. Uh, I'm so confused. What else do we have? The boots? Okay. Come on. Yes! Ooh. Some good luck on our way out here. So next up, gloves. Oh no! Oh, there we go. Oh my god, this is starting to extract a little too much money from me, but we only have one item left, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, one item. 
Gloves are done, shoes are done, okay, just the shoulder. And I don't have any spares for the shoulder. I mean, I kinda yolo the gloves now as well, but... Okay, let's just hope this... Doesn't extract any more money from me, and then, you know, if I'm still within 40 billion, that's okay. But... Come on! Aww. Alright, here, 18 to 19. That's the one I, I'll do. Yes, I got it! And it broke! No! Oh no! Oh man, I have to get a spare for this now, so... Alright, we are below 20 billion. Okay. We are done. And I didn't even need to get to Meister because we didn't even blow up a ring. So that's pretty nice. Although, now that I think about it, I could also try to go for 19 on my farming ring. Because I do use this to do my dailies in Arcus. So, I guess... Why the hell not, right? <laughs> I don't know, I, I kind of feel like I'm behind, and you know, if I keep going, it will even out, so... Let's, let's try it out, I guess. Okay, I don't feel like I have any luck today, so I'm just gonna stop with this idea. Uh, okay. So, we spent... 50 billion mesos and we got 4 arcane armors to 19 stars and our weapon to 18 as well as the miser ring from 17 to 19 which is definitely below average and I would say is actually quite horrible okay but nonetheless we gained a bit of stats I always showed off my stats with Maple Warrior on, so we gained like uh, uh, nearly a thousand and we gained 11 stars, it seems like. Yes, exactly. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we get lucky on the honor roll. Let's do three rolls. <laughs> Passive skills plus one. Wait, this works on the, on the beds, right? No, on bad affinity. Alright, that's good enough. Whatever. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Obviously, we are looking for boss damage, but... Okay. Alright, I just looked up how many stats we gained from the upgrading session, and we gained over 170 attack, which is nearly two Onyx apples, right? Let's put it like that. So, I can't be mad about it, and I think that puts us in a good range to actually try and clear Hard Vihila now. You know, especially when looking at the last episode where we did normal Vihila in 15 minutes and 30 seconds while playing relatively safe, right? I think we have a good shot. Shot? <laughs> I think we have a good shot at, at clearing hard. But before we get to that, today is Sunday. I would probably coin cap on my mules right now. But I already did that for a couple of days now and I want to see... If I can buy out all the things from the event shop that I that I need. So let's take a look at that first. Okay, so here we are on the Wind Archer. How many coins do we have? 3.3k. Okay, so like I said from the ring tab we wanna buy nothing and then here we go. We wanna buy out these flames. So let's just you know buy 22 flames okay and put these in storage <laughs> next up thunder breaker and that's wait we don't have any coins on the <laughs> whoops what did i buy here what huh i don't even know oh no i didn't coin cap on the thunder breaker aye 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 so here we are on the Dawn Warrior. I think we actually did coin cap on this guy. Exactly. 3.6k. So let's buy out 
eight more of these flames and ten droplets and what is that four more no six more so wait all right let's put that into storage all right and here we are on the blaze wizard 3k points so let's take a look here we can buy out the remaining four droplets and now it's yeah basically up in the air what i want to buy right so i think everything from the growth tab is not tradable so i yeah, can't buy anything for the nightwalker in that tab but we still have 20 karma black flames to buy so i think i will need to coin cap a, a little more on on my mules here so we can what how many nine we can buy nine right now and then we have 11 remaining so i got a coin cap today on the bossing mules as well so that's fine and here we are back on the main <laughs> I, I love the effect from my uh, accessory crafting it doesn't fit my character at all and oh, honestly i can't wait for the update where they you know remove this or at least introduce a toggle to remove the bed above your head and you know it blocks other visual effects and that's just a shame either way here we are we have the flames and the flames are probably not going to improve anything that we are have equipped right now because i want to flame the future superior pendant that we are going to use so this will be hammered into in the shining star boss event and yeah i'm gonna spend flames right now for that so let's take a look here the flames are probably gonna look awful right because it's a not non-flame advantage item, right? But oh my god! But yeah, let's hope for the best here. Yeah. Four percent all stun is not good enough, I think. Not for an item that we want to keep around for basically ever. 16 int and 3% all set. I think if that would be luck, I would be fine with that. So we have one keepable flame, but you know, not in our stat. And there we go! 32 luck and 3% all stat. That's nice! <laughs> That's pretty nice! Yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep that. I hate seeing the int and the dex, right? But whatever. <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing. So we have our 32 and 4 superior earrings, and then we have our 32 and 3 pendant. That's gonna be awesome and shining when we get to equip these items, hopefully, right? And now with the rest of the rainbow flames, I think I'm gonna flame the twilight mark because it still has no flame at all. So let's see if we can get anything. It has to be a really good flame. Because it, it's competing with Pitch Boss. Alright. Nothing, but that's completely fine with me. And now, I don't want to use the black flames on the Twilight Mark. And I don't really want to use it on my weapon either, because my weapon is tier 6 and tier 4. Which is, yeah, good enough. So... Let's take a look which of the arcane pieces has the worst flame. So 84 and 6, 85 and 5, and 91 and 4. So 91 minus 9 is 82. So this is the shoe needs to be upgraded, okay. And I think I could probably just go by the color of the number here at, in the bottom. Not very likely to hit an upgrade here, but that's why we're using black frames, alright? So. Alright. And that does it for the gear upgrading. <laughs> Man. I'm still not 100% sure if I should be happy or not. 
It's all right, I guess. It's all right. Okay, let's try it out. Oh, I died, and that's very bad. But I have to... Wait, what? Why didn't this give me the string? Alright, we saved it somewhat. Oh no. I died to the mob. Ooh, that's very bad. I think I'm gonna take the scythe, yeah? Let's see. Yup. Ooh, he sniped me. That's alright. 51% in, I don't know, 15 minutes. We can do it, but... The skill is just not right, right there right now, so... That's what they mean with the remaining pops. Alright. Oh, yeah, nothing. Even though the star forcing like wasn't on my side today. I just picked up a dominator from Acarium and I'm about to pick up another superior earring. Damn, he, he double whammy. <laughs> just finished up my daily see before we head into the next boss and it is a special day. <laughs> Since we're gonna max out Latch. Latch line. So that's pretty nice. Boom. So I don't have to experience the new minigame that we get in Savior on this char at all. But I'm probably gonna do it on the bossing mules. But we will see, we will see. Super happy. So... Yeah, now it's time actually to do Lucid. I'm just gonna try to run that boss solo this week because it's still Sunday. I might get a weapon box, right? And then I could continue Star Forcing. Let's hope for the best, it was the worst transition ever. I'm gonna run out of the minion, I'm gonna run out of my shadow partner, my great dark servant, everything's gonna go down here. I forgot to rapid throw. Exactly, okay. Thankfully, we are much stronger than what is required. <laughs> Oh man, that was so close. It's a little shaky, to be honest. Still a little shaky. Oh, I forgot to activate my long potions for this fight, but it's fine. So let's see if we can get something here. <laughs> well, some furniture, I guess. Don't really care for this, to be honest. Oh well. I have to say, I don't really have it in me today to get a real run going in hard. I gave it another shot, it didn't really work out, and then I practiced a little bit with a guildie who's 
at the same progression stage basically as I am. Uh, just, you know, gave it a shot with just green pot and, you know, no serious buffs and we got it down to 25 together. Which is also, it's nice, it's nice, but I count that actually as an achievement because the boss fight gets very hard if you, if you start doing it in a party. So, let's get going. I, I'll do normal and then that's gonna be it. Dude, I can't believe it. Why is normal Vila so easy compared to hard? I felt again super in control, just like last week. It's clear. Let's try to get something out of this. Alright. That's fine. We got a red pot. That's pretty good. Alright, for me, it's Monday now and it is time to assess the situation, right? Of course, you know, weekly reset it is and I already bought a couple of Legion Wealth coupons and I'm training up again. I'm all the way back at 24 bill, right? So we are on our way up again, right? But I wanted to talk about the self-forcing situation from yesterday. I think... In retrospective, I probably shouldn't have Star Force any gear, right? But now, if we were to actually take a look at how much damage we did to ourselves here, um, I would look at it in the following way, right? So we, we got the 18 star weapon. Honestly, I should have kept this at 17, because going for 18 is... That's kind of risky, right? And meh, that doesn't really feel good to me right but getting the the rest of the arcanes to 19 was a good thing in general right but what i would have hoped for was that we could just clear hard hitter with that and yeah then i got punched in the face twice and yeah i mean you, you saw it it wasn't a good time and i definitely have a lot to learn still until i can clear that fight but nonetheless up, the upgrading session made me at least confident enough to try right and right now i think i have a good shot at actually being able to clear that boss weekly but i need to you know step up my game basically and without the upgrades i probably wouldn't have done that right so i would say if we manage to clear hard hiller alone until shining it was worth it to upgrade that's the the measure I would go by and if we you know actually wanted to address the yeah let's say the damage that I did to myself right uh, we can look at it in the following way so we basically spent 50 billion right in, in 5 10 15 so I punched the numbers in into the the Star Wars calculator and compared to how much money we would have spent if it weren't 5 10 15 right and we basically overspent by roughly 15 billion mesos, which is completely fine. I am pretty sure I get that in a week. I, I get 1.2 billion off of the bossing mules, right? Which I actually play now because I'm motivated to get the money, right? And that's already ha halfway there. I guess, right? And then I do bosses on, on the main and I farm like a madman, right? So today, you know, I had, I had a day off basically, so I'm, you know, basically already done with the Legion Wolf. But that's not gonna slow down in the next couple of days, so... Or weeks, I hope. <laughs> Until we are 275, to be honest. So, and, you know, once we are 275, the meso income is gonna go down, and I'm actually wondering what I should do then, right? It's... It's quite a complicated question for me, because I think right now I do... On the, my, my income soaps basically coming... from my main character... Like, the most of my income is coming from my main character, and it's not even by bossing, it's just straight up by farming here, right? So... Once that is going to go away, I think I 
I'm in kind of a rough spot, so... Maybe I really need to work on more bossing mules? As strange as, as it sounds, maybe I should consider to also do bosses on the Corsair, which I'm not doing right now. He's just sitting around in my account. And this guy could do up to Seville weekly. And I think this Zero could be a free door boss as well. Even though we went for the Empress gear. As soon as we, you know, are 250, we have so many hyper sets with the Legion, etc. It's, it's gonna be an alright time, I imagine. But I, I don't want to take this character further because honestly, playing Zero is kind of difficult. And it's, it's way too difficult to be a real bossing mule, in, in my opinion. Uh, if you have a Zero bossing mule, it's off to you, but I, I'm not sure why you picked such a big challenge. <laughs> Maybe, you know, you, you were looking for a challenge, so. And the other alternative that I'm thinking about is just, you know, trading a couple more Nightwalkers that I, you know, play up to, like, 210 and then use them as free draw bossing wheels for a while. Maybe trade Hallux a couple times. Maybe trade a Hard Lotus, Hard Damien, if that's, you know, still a thing by then, because, you know, they're gonna introduce the, the carry, yeah, or non-carry mechanic. So we will see, we will see how, how that's gonna go, but I I think right now I, I will need a couple more bossing worlds just to, to supplement my, my spending needs, Oops. And, but I'm unsure about that. So you know, if you have a suggestion for what I should do once I hit 275, I, feel free to let me know because I'm, I honestly don't know and I've thought about this for quite a while, and yeah, the options are Either I keep farming in a map that I can actually relatively uh, clear with relative ease, and that that wouldn't be. Oh, whoops! Yeah, Th this is the map that I determined I want to go to 280 in, but I don't have enough sacred force at all to actually level there, right? So uh, I don't see myself actually grinding there for mazels. So to say, like I'm doing right here, right? So it would need to be another map, and then you know I'm already over 10 levels away, and I'm getting you know punished for that, etc. I don't know if that would feel too great. Then, of course, the second option would be just create more bossing rules, and then the last option that I didn't talk about yet would be to turn some of my bossing mules into m temporary meso farmers. And what I mean by that is, you know, I like the plan is to grind the Wind Archer, Blaze Wizard, and Dawn Warrior up all the way to 250, right? Because they are my second mains, and, and I, I want to see them succeed, right? <laughs> and also, it's it's nice for the Legion, etc., right? But at the same time, you know, they need to get there somehow, and I would say the Blaze Wizard and the Winter check could be a good meso farmers. I'm not really sure about the Dawn Warrior because the uh, the place that I, I don't really like how there's like two modes to his mobbing. So I, I would need to see about that, right? But oh, I was a little early. Uh, either way, um, I could see you know turning these two characters into meso farmers until they hit 250, right? And I could do two wells per character per week on them by, you know, just grabbing eight legion wealths out of the shop and then, you know, combining them with the wealth acquisition potion, I could grind for eight hours in total, right? On, on them to, to farm up monies, to, to farm up familiars, right? That's the plan in, anyways, right? So I might as well turn their gear into a temporary vessel set. But this is actually the, <laughs> the thing that I'm considering the most. It's definitely, you know, less income than an established bossing mule, right? That's for sure. But it's, you know, until a certain point, it's probably gonna be more income than trading another bossing mule. And I don't really feel like it while I still, you know, have plans to grind other characters. And, you know, I think for me, it probably makes sense to do that. But like I said, I don't have a 
conclusion on this. I'm still thinking about it, considering my options. And that's basically it. In conclusion, the Star Forcing event. Was it terrible that I Star Forced yesterday? No. No. I lost 15 billion mesos. Basically, 15, right? Just want to make that clear. And that's completely alright for me. I basically traded these 15 billion mesos that I spent extra in comparison to Shining Star Force to get the upgrade earlier. Now it's, you know, time to actually do something with that upgrade. And that would be to clear Hard Hiller or Chaos Gloom or both, right? For me, yeah, I mean, I, I was kind of close to clearing Sea Gloom a couple of weeks ago already, right? But it's a difficult fight and you know the video that i went over a couple of episodes ago that was my best attempt by far right so it doesn't come easy and i feel like i have a better shot of, shot at clearing part hiller first but you know like i said i'm gonna do one or two tries a week and then i'm just gonna clear normal honestly yesterday normal villa felt so easy to clear and you know that Crystal gives gives me 450 million medals. It's it's not nothing, right? So either way, you know, these are my thoughts. I'm just gonna continue grinding here for the day. We might actually make it to 274 this video. That would be insane now how much I grinded in the last fucking two weeks. <laughs> oh man. But honestly I'm kinda looking forward to it. To reaching uh, the big milestone which is 275 right simply for the fact if i look at my familiars the last good familiar i went over this is the open even open familiar from neo tokyo and it's been such a long time since i had a, had a good familiar so that's actually kind of painful either way i already have a couple of uniques prepped here but i want to do one big opening so i basically open familiars until i was at 50 because, you know, that's the best way to go about this. You know, the way with the least amount of hassle for... You know, you know, yeah, for fusing, right? 75 is my usual standard because it's nicer to make the uniques, but whatever. Uh, 50 is now the plan and we're getting a... an elite boss and goodbye elite boss. That's, you know, one thing that I really like about grinding in this map is, you know, I can just wreck the elite bosses. <laughs> in in hotel, like, I get bounced around. <laughs> yeah, okay, like I said, no familiar opening this week, but in two weeks, I, I say I, I have all of these ready if you need. Pro probably not next, next episode, but yeah, we will see, we will see. Either way, time for a loot rotation and I'm... Um, I'm uh, gonna, gonna see what, what else this episode has to has in store for us. It is already Wednesday and I gotta close out the episode here. It feels like we haven't really achieved anything this time around. Although we did upgrade our gear a little bit. We still got punched in the face by <laughs> Vihela and couldn't clear. Let's hope that, you know, I got it in me to clear next time. Or maybe, you know, in two weeks from now. Also, in two weeks from now, if I can keep up the pace of my grind, I will be hitting 275 and we will be unlocking Odium. Definitely not next week. I don't think so, but you know, in two weeks, I think that sounds reasonable. So yeah, that does it for this episode. And I hope to see you around. Take care, everybody. Ciao, ciao.